All right, this is the Destination Bandcamp default snare drum exercise A, whatever you wanna call it. It's the easier one that everyone has to play. So aside from reading the basic rhythms on it, we have rules all throughout. And before we even worry about playing the role itself, we need to know the rhythm behind each of those roles. So the important thing is that we know that every time we see that roll mark on any note, we're just going to turn that note into 16th note buzzers. So, if you think about a quarter note, four 16th notes fit inside of a quarter note. So one quarter note roll tied to another, we're going to think of four 16th notes. So instead of one, two, we're gonna think buzzy and a two, okay? Next up, we have the two eighth notes with the roll sign on the first eighth note. We're gonna turn that first eighth note into two sixteenth notes, creating one e and or buzzy and. Notice at the end, we have a tap on both of those. So instead of ending on a buzz, it'd be buzz, buzz, tap, or buzz, 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 tap, okay? If that had a Z on, or a roll mark on it or something, it could still be a buzz of some sort. But in this case, all of these rolls in this exercise end on a tap, and that's very important. Lastly, within our rolls that we see in this exercise, we have the eighth notes with the roll mark on the second eighth note. So if you think about how you count eighth notes, one and two and, we're just gonna add the a uh behind and, one and a two and a, I messed up with the metronome, one and a two and a, and then think tap, buzz, buzz, tap. Okay, so with that being said, I'm actually gonna slow this net down just a little bit more. And let's just really make sure that we have the counting together, including the 16th note counts that we would have for any of our rolls. So the first time I count through this, I'm counting all of my rolls out as 16th note patterns, like so. One, two, Ready and go. One E and a two E and a three E and four E and a one and two and three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three four. One E and two E and three and a four and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two and three E and a four E and. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two and three E and four E and a one E and a two E and a three four E and a one two E and a three four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and four E and one E and a two E and a three. You'll probably notice I actually left out a specific rhythm of rolling here. That rhythm would be the tap note. That was actually partially on purpose because I wanted to see if you were able to figure out how we would fill in the half note. And the premise is the same as any of these other rhythms. So we have technically two quarter notes that fit into a half note. And we already know that four sixteenth notes fit into a quarter, so four times two would be eight sixteenths in total. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mark them down, boom, 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 and then put your Z's throughout all of them. And then finally end on the tap, because generally speaking, there's always a note that we end on. So we have the basic way to count through this, including the rhythms of the rolls. The next step that I would take is actually just learn to recite the whole thing as taps and buzzes, something like this. One, two, ready, and go. One, and then look at that. I'm about to count it on accident. Same thing, two, taps and buzzes. Tap, 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 buzz, buzz, tap, buzz, 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 tap, 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 buzz, 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 tap, 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 buzz, buzz, tap, buzz, buzz, tap, tap, buzz, buzz, tap, Buzz buzz tap 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 buzz 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 tap 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 buzz 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 tap 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 buzz buzz tap 
Tap, 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 buzz, 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 tap, 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 buzz, buzz, tap, buzz, 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 tap, 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 buzz, 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 tap, 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 buzz, buzz, tap, buzz, 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 tap. So whenever we do that, although we haven't put our hands into it yet, we've been able to really, really focus on exactly what each note is, where it's placed in time, etc. From there, we're actually going to just start applying that over to what our hands are doing. One thing I suggest is before you even start through this exercise with your hands, make sure that you're super confident with your right hand lead stickings throughout. Anytime you have one E and rhythms, we always play it right, left, right. Anytime you have one and a rhythms, we play it right, right, left, right. Okay? Things like that. Secondly, I strongly suggest that we just work on those buzzes. With a metronome, you can set that tempo. Right now, I have it as low as 60. I would suggest playing this around 90 to 100, but just take it and play 8s and 16s but imply, or apply your buzzes to make sure that we're getting smooth, even buzzes so that whenever we put it into this actual little etude, they're gonna be at a high quality, which is what we're aiming for. So I'll take it at a slower tempo, eights and sixteens with buzzes, and then I'll speed it up, do it again, and then we'll play through it at a slow tempo and at a fast tempo. buzzes I'm letting my um, elbow hinge arm hinge work and I'm staying nice and relaxed with my fulcrum making sure that I get as much buzz out of the drum as I can let's do that same thing sped up this is at 95 you'll notice my buzzes are easier to make more smooth now that we've got a faster tempo more of that static that we want where it's all one sound rather than you hearing the individual buzzes. Now I'm going to slow it back down and we'll play through the entire exercise with the buzzes. actually mess up just a little bit at measure seven no rhythms or anything i just tried to put an extra buzz in there um now we'll take it we'll speed it up this is at 95 if you can play it at this tempo along with this you're probably doing okay all right some things that i would just try to add over time is getting that foot tap and keeping that beat consistent in our foot. I know for some of us doing that while playing various rhythms may be a little challenging still, but if you can do that, then your internal time is going to be that much stronger. Um, also, just noticing my stick height, the whole exercise is only at mezzo forte. And for this act situation, I would honestly say, keep it around four inches off the drum. No need to play super high. That's gonna make your buzzes sound a little nasty and no need to play it super low because it's not written at piano or anything. Here we go, whole thing at 95 beats per minute. And one, three, one and two and empty.
よ。